Hi, I'm Mary Kate and today we are going to be making our own watercolor paints made out of supplies that you can buy at the supermarket or even find around your house. What you're going to need is some white vinegar, some baking soda, some cornstarch, corn syrup, food dye, and some vessels to be mixing your materials in. So first things first, you are going to measure out about two parts baking soda. For one part vinegar. If you want to be really technical, you can do maybe four tablespoons of baking soda and two tablespoons of vinegar. Maybe a little bit more. Next, what you're going to do, this is a classic science experiment, you are going to add your vinegar to the baking soda and it's going to fizz. So, <laughs> so once that stops fizzing, I'm going to give it a little stir to incorporate everything. I am going to pour in about half a teaspoon, so just a little bit of this cornstarch. Watch out, it's sticky. Not too much. That just, I think, helps it kind of smooth out. So a little bit of corn syrup and then your cornstarch. So you wanna add about as much cornstarch as you had baking soda. So I will measure that in here. I'm gonna eyeball it. I would say I probably won't put all that in. I'm gonna add most of it. So when you start mixing this, whoop, <laughs> it's going to get really thick and hard to stir. Maybe I will add a little bit more in. So what you're making is something similar um, to a non-Newtonian substance, which basically means when you are touching it, it's a solid. So if you try to pick it up, it's like it's a solid in your hand, but when you put it back in the cup, it becomes a liquid. So it fills that space up. So it's a really, really neat substance. And that happens when you add the cornstarch to it. So that cornstarch is that thickener. Okay. So now that I kind of have this substance going on, I'm going to take this and pour it into my other three cups. You can see it pours pretty easily. Here. Okay. And this is where you're gonna do the color mixing. So I have my food dye right here. I'm gonna make one of my colors this pink, one of them yellow, one of them green. And I think because I have another cup, I'm gonna combine my pink and yellow to make kind of like a light orange. I'll put a lot of yellow in, just a few drops of pink, see how that looks. So this is great practice if you wanna learn how to mix colors. And I have some toothpicks and I will use these to stir it around. And it should be kind of hard to stir. One. There's my purple, there's my orangey color, my orangey yellow, there's green. You wanna make sure you stir it good so you get all that color incorporated and it isn't you know, too light in some areas and too dark in other areas. And then here's my combo cup. 
Let's see how this turns out. May just be end up being brown. Beautiful. So when you're doing this, um, you could pour these maybe into ice cube trays or um, maybe like a muffin tin so that when you, it'll be easy to pop out and then you can use them as watercolor paints once they dry. Let me move these aside and I will show you what I mean. So right here is a little blue one that I made at home. So I have my paintbrush and my paint. This is after it's completely dried. So I let it sit out in the sunshine for maybe like an hour or two, maybe wait overnight if it's not in the sunshine. You want it to be like pretty hard. This isn't wet at all. And I'm just gonna add water to it like I would do to any watercolor. So I'm gonna add a little water to kind of make it come back to life. Then I have a piece of paper right here and I can paint with it. I definitely need a little bit more water. So depending on how much food dye you put in here or what color food dye or the combination of the food dye, that's gonna dictate what color you have um, and how intense it is when you end up turning it into paint. But you can use this for any old paint project. Um, maybe you want to paint a self-portrait or maybe you wanna paint your pet. I don't know, well, don't paint on your pet, just paint on the paper. But this is a great, fun science experiment and you get to make watercolors out of it.